so today's video is a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I recently received some new Makeup Geek eyeshadows and when I saw this one, I was like, I need that all over my eyelids right now. <laughs> it's just a stunning metallic green eyeshadow. I'm in love. <laughs> and this is how I had my nails for my Halloween tutorial and I'm super super happy that they're kind of matching with the eyeshadow today. So anyway, I really hope you guys like the look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Alright you guys, so I already have my moisturizing cream on and I'll add just a little bit of a primer. I'll use this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'll apply that um, on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, on my nose, just everywhere that um, I have some pores and I want them to be a little bit smoother. For foundation today, I'll use my L'Oreal True Match and this is in the shade Ivory but because it's just a little bit lighter for me, this is not happening too often, I'm usually the lightest shade available but um, I'll mix it with this Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation and this one is in the shade Vanilla so I'm just going to pump some of them on the back of my hand then I'll just mix them together and I'll apply that on my face. Just going to take a regular makeup sponge and blend it in my skin. I hate it when I get foundation on my eyebrows and I always do that. To conceal my under eye area, I'll use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and this is in the shade Porcelain. And again, I'm taking that makeup sponge and I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'll go ahead and set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Guess what I'll be using for this one? And I'll set the rest of my face with this L'Oreal BB Powder. Um, the shade is... Oh, it doesn't have any shade. It says that it's for light skin tone. So yeah. The brush I'm using to do that is the Morphe M402. Going on the brows, I'll use the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in Liberally Toasted to fill them in, give them a better shape, make them look nice and fierce. <laughs> and the brush I'm using is Anastasia Beverly Hills number no. 12. And then I'll use some of that Catrice concealer to clean them up and make the edges look sharp. Alright, now it's time for the fun part and it's the eye makeup. Let me guys know down in the comments which is your favorite part from the whole um, makeup process. I definitely love doing the eyes. I mean, I love everything about makeup but I think that the eyes are my favorite subject. <laughs> so anyway... Anyway, 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 where is my eyeshadow base? <laughs> it was right in front of me. <laughs> I'll use the shadow insurance by Too Faced to prime my eyes. You have to kind of shake it a little bit before you use it. I like doing this. Oh. Then I'll just go ahead and set it with some powder so that it won't move around. Alright, so for today's look, most of the eyeshadows that I'll be using, in fact, all of the eyeshadows that I'll be using, will be by Makeup Geek. I'll start off with this one here, it's called Bake Sale. And with a big fluffy brush, this is the Morphe M412. I'll just apply it in my crease and blend it around. You don't have to be too precise with this because it's just a transition shade, so don't worry, just blend. <laughs> And don't worry if you take it on the lid area here because we're going to cover it all in black in a while and it's not a big deal. <laughs> Next, I'll go with this darker brown shade. Um, it's called Cabin Fever and it's again by Makeup Geek. With a smaller blending brush, this one is the Makeup Addiction Precision Crease. I'll just apply it lower in my crease and again, don't worry if you take it too low on the lid area. It doesn't really matter. And 
then I will take again that Morphe brush with just a little bit of that um, Bake Sale eyeshadow and I will use that to make sure that everything is nice and blended. Next I will use this pencil here by Sigma, it's called Eclipse, it's just a black pencil. I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid and what this is going to do is it's going to make the eyeshadow that I'm going to apply on top of it to come out more intense and vibrant and it will also make it last even longer. And then I will take this gorgeous green shade, um, it's called Epic. I think that the best way to apply the foiled eyeshadows by Makeup Geek is with your fingers. Alright, so you can see that there is a harsh line between the crease and the lid area that needs to be blended. So to do that, I will take again that darker brown shade called Cabin Fever. And again with that small precision brush by Makeup Addiction, I will start going back and forth, blending that harsh line out. And then again, I'm taking that Morphe 412 brush and with just a tiny little bit of that eyeshadow called Bake Sale, it's the light brown shade that we used as a transition shade. I'll start blending out once again so that I make sure that everything is nice and smoked out. Now it's time to do some wing. I'll use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and I'm applying it with the Sigma E06. And then I'll go ahead and apply that light brown eyeshadow along my lower lash line and add just a little bit of that black pencil um, in the outer half of my waterline. Alright, so the eye makeup is quite dramatic, so let's go ahead and add even more drama with some very long lashes. These are the Le Pesh trends and they're called Onyx. Happiness is when your eyelashes touch your eyebrows. See what I mean? Alright, so the eyes are complete, now let's go ahead and finish up the face. From the Morphe 9C palette, I will take this shade right here and I'll use it to contour my face. And for that, I'm using the Zuiva 127 brush. So, I got this from the drugstore yesterday, I have no idea how it looks. How many must watch it? This is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder and that's a huge pun. <laughs> it smells like coconut. I like that. So let's go ahead and see how this will look on my skin. Um, I will apply it with a dual fiber brush because I don't want to go crazy with that. I don't know how pigmented it is. So this is a Sigma F50. Alright, so this may be a little bit too warm for me, but um, it smells really good. I want to add any blush or will I? I will. I'll add the tiniest amount of blush. I'll be using this one here by Sigma. It's called Corderosa. And for highlighter, I will use this one here. This is the Makeup Geek Highlighter Palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I'll also apply that in the inner corners of my eyes and on the brow bone. Alright, so the eyes are complete, the face is complete. Now all we have left are the lips. I'll go with this liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Stripped and it's a really pretty nude shade. I didn't want it to go heavy on the lips because the eyes are quite dramatic. So I decided to keep the lips more neutral. And this is the finished look guys, some of you requested more videos with more colorful looks and when I saw that Makeup Geek eyeshadow I was like, now is the time. <laughs> this is definitely a very dramatic look, it's very bold but I think that it's just perfect for people with brown eyes and if you're one of them and you don't really like green, you can definitely change it to purple, um, this would be super suitable for brown eyes as well. So I really hope you guys like the look, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog, all of the links will be listed down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and and I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye!